HTTPS inspection on checkpoint gateways. Real simple. I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone in this tutorial and make it real quick. So this is also how you'd go about renewing a certificate as well. Okay, so run our gateway here. Um, many warnings. We'll ignore that for the second. Double click the cluster. HTTPS inspection. We can view the certificate that was created previously. For whatever reason, we don't want this anymore. So we are going to renew the certificate. Okay. So I'm going to enable HTTPS inspection. Okay. Then this is where it all gets a little bit shaky. And that bugs out on me for some unknown reason. Okay. Come back to our security policies where we're going to find HTTPS inspection here. We have to open that in Smart Dashboard. In its own time, obviously. Um, not a massive fan of the way it does this, but I guess it, it is what it is. Okay, so once we're in HTTPS inspection, here we can see our gateways that are doing it. And down here, we see renew certificate. So we're going to renew the certificate and change it for say testlab.local. Okay, and we're going to have that. That is going to be valid for a year. Okay, it's going to be valid for a year. Okay, that's going to generate the certificate. which will take its time. This is literally exactly the same way, so on the first box we went to, which I'll show you again in a minute, the first box we went to, that would normally be generate certificate. Okay, so then we're gonna go here. We're gonna export the certificate. To our machine. That's done, that's now saved in documents. So we have to save it in Smart Dashboard, and then we can come out of Smart Dashboard, and then uh, just to show you that bit there, inspection. So if you're doing this for the first time, this button here would be uh, generate certificate or make certificate. I've forgotten which one it is, um, and then that would basically take you through exactly the same process that we've just been through. Okay, so we're going to install policy. Because we need to do that now to push the certificate we've just created. It needs to be pushed uh, and replace the certificate that was there previously. Should be fairly quick. See the details here, see if everything's being pushed. I like the install policy details. It's, um, it's a lot better than the previous versions where you mm -hmm. basically install policy and just sat and hope for the best. Um, that was that was fun times. So any second now. Maybe a few more cores. Bit more memory next time for the demos, I think. Now, redundant setup.
always worrying everything appears to stop turning thank god it started turning again okay so that's all succeeded we can look at this now here's something that's quite interesting as well apparently so once we view the certificate we will still see that it's issued by mode 44 now of course we issued it from somewhere else this is this stays that way until and we'll test this theory now we'll test the theory now it apparently so that retains the old certificate until smart console is shut down uh, so let's install the policy yeah that's fine so we need to shut down and come back and we should then see the new newly generated certificate in the view certificate box um, He's saying, I suppose it could get confusing. I do like R8030. I do. Never completely sure which way, uh, which I prefer, checkpoint or power load, but we're going to do some, some hacking through firewalls to vulnerable boxes and see which actually um, protects the best between the checkpoint and the power load. Oh, excuse me. So if we now view, so yeah, so if we now view that, that, so that's correct. So if we now view that, we now see this certificate. So we can install the certificate directly from here. Local machine. Okay, and we're going to put it in the trusted root CAs. In fact, actually, let's just let's just prove that first. So. So we go to here. Okay, we get not secure because, and we for some reason I just cannot get to to that. Okay, and let me proceed to it. So we can see we've got a, a certificate error, and now for some reason we've got this blue background in the background. It'll it'll let me see the the option. So we can see it's issued to mode44.co.uk, which is this. And it was issued by testlab.local, which is our certificate. Okay. So if we now pop out of that, um, we'll do it from here. HTTPS inspection. View certificate. Install certificates. Local machine. Yep. Place it. In trusted root CA, next finished import was successful. Okay, okay. Curious as to what those five draft changes are. But now we should be able to browse around as we as we wish. Shall we? We've got a completely new browser. Go to mode 44. Now we're in, and as we can see, the certificate is still test lab mode 44. So when we come back to, in fact, if I do a little bit of uh, browsing around, okay. Um, now there is, of course, a requirement to not. Um, decrypt certain types of traffic and I'll show you the policy in a second so if we look at this certificate here we can see this certificate path is completely unchanged and the reason that is, is because we have a rule saying that it shouldn't decrypt financials and health and that is found again on the smart dashboard So open it up in Smart Dashboard. It will take its time. OK. 
Okay, HTTPS inspection. As we can see, the policy there. So, non decrypt. So, we've got that. So, if we wanted to say put in another category here, these are all the categories we've got. So, alcohol and tobacco, um, things like that, that we want to, uh, in this particular instance, bypass. Um, don't know what else you would do. Probably file storage and sharing. Just put that there, and then you'd save it and push that. Save it and push that policy. So you save it there again. This commits the change. Come out of that, and then install the policy. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's.